this is Blood on Sweden back again with a brand new series of SRCDS tutorials. If you are a subscriber, you might have gotten the the uh, newsletter explaining why I'm doing a, a new series of essentially the same tutorials that I already have on my channel. Well, if you didn't read the newsletter or if this is the first video that you watching from me I can tell you that I have two playlists uh, on my channel one is for main mod source mod the other is for event scripts is tools the two major server side plugins um, but both of these playlists were made long before the orange box update to Counter-Strike Source and I am still even though I did a, a complete playlist of things you had to change in order to get the, the best working server of the, the update came out uh, people are still asking me some very basic questions so I figured well what the hell let's do it again let's do it full HD better sound quality and hopefully I have gotten a little better at this whole tutorial thing I watched the the earlier tutorials I released and it's a goddamn miracle that you people could even understand a thing that I tried to learn teach so uh, yeah um, this is my new series. This is part one of Source Mod Meta Mod, downloading and installing the server itself. Now I might not do a new uh, event script series tools because I recommend everyone to use Source Mod Meta Mod because nowadays it's so much more lightweight. It's a lot easier, especially if you are a a newbie to the whole uh, running your whole own server etc it's much easier to understand so yeah let's get to it the first thing we need to do is to download a setup file called um, HLDS update tool this tool will allow us to download uh, the server files the whole server itself so go ahead and open up your web browser in the address field type steam powered dot com slash download slash HLDS update tool dot exe and press save file there we go you will get this little setup file so go ahead and run it hit next I agree as for destination folder uh, if this is the first time you do your own server uh, I would recommend it putting it in the root of the C drive so uh, I would name my catalog SRCDS for simplicity so that's the destination folder I recommend if you're new to uh, running your server or you know kind of a beginner on a PC in general but I'm going to go ahead and place it where I want to install it there we go hit next and again and there you go choose your region and uh, we are done with that now what we need to do is to start the download itself uh, to do that you need to open up a command prompt called CMD if you run Windows Vista or Windows 7 just type CMD in this search box on your start menu if you are on Windows XP you will have a in the list here to the right you will have a run option so you click that and type in CMD in the pop-up window and you will get this little window as you can see by default we are in the C drive but we have a couple of folders before the root to move backwards which we need to do to get into the SRCDS folder we just installed just type CD 
followed by two dots and press enter and you can see we move backwards in folders again and you will be in the root of the local C drive now if you installed it there as I recommended just type CD SRCDS and press enter and you will get into your SRCDS folder so I will go ahead and type in my parameters there we go now to start the download all we have to do is to type in this command right here HLDS update tool command update game counter strike source dear uh, here you have to point to the installation folder and again if you place it where I recommended you would type that right there so I will go ahead and type in my parameters again here and press enter hit yes uh, if you are on Windows XP I believe you won't get a new window the download will commence in the same window but no matter uh, you will see in a bit that <coughs> excuse me that the download will begin so you know don't close the window uh, thinking that the uh, something has bugged out because this will take a while no installation record found that is uh, natural because we do not have any installation yet in this folder so kind of self-explanatory now we just wait and there we go the download has now begun so yeah that's it for part one come back for part two and we will install source mod meta mod and we will set ourselves up as an admin and fix some things that you want to do before getting your server online there are some configs that we need to tweak um, in order to get a fully functional server so yeah hope this helped and I will see you the next time